everyone, I'm Yolan and today I'll be taking you through a day in my life. Today I woke up at 6 and I played with my phone and checked my messages until 7. I continued to make my bed afterwards and here I am clipping up my hair to go throughout the day. I brushed my teeth afterwards and I went downstairs to have my breakfast. Today I had chicken noodles and I added some chili sauce on it to add a bit of extra spice and I love these noodles. I eat them quite often as the restaurant is really close to my house. After breakfast, I went upstairs and got ready because I had a presentation. For the presentation, there were different groups taking turns to present. So while I was waiting for my group's turn, I checked my Notion and also updated my calendar or my schedule. And I also added some stuff on my weekly planner. After my class, I logged on to Genshin to do my daily commissions as I do every day. Actually, all of my vlogs contain me playing Genshin. It's a daily routine, to be honest. And other than commissions, I also try to collect some crystal flies because I'm running out of it. After I was finished playing Genshin, I went downstairs to take my food because I ordered some food for lunch and I also poured some coffee in a glass for later. I bought this chicken naan bun, it was really good. I ate this chicken naan bun before and I was actually craving it today so I got it. While I ate, I also played some Genshin because I wanted to check my teapot. When I played before, I forgot to do that. After lunch, I had another presentation, so here I'm waiting for my turn to speak. Since my mid-semester exams are coming, for both of today's classes, there were no lectures. It was just presentations. For the first class, it was like a mid-semester presentation. The presentation is regarding the final project for this class. And for this one, we were given an assignment, which we had to do and also present in a class. After finishing the last class of the day, I wanted to unbox this lamp. It's a very cute cat-shaped lamp. I got this lamp from Thunlit and you can buy it on Shopee. I will put the link of the lamp in the description box. And it comes with a manual on how to operate it. It's also battery powered, which I like so you don't have to plug it in all the time. And there's also a button to turn it on. And in order to change its settings, you have to hit it and it turns to this warm light. And if you hit it again, it turns into this changing lights mode. And you can hit it the third time in order to stick to the color of the light you want. Lastly, if you hit it for the fourth time, it will turn off. This lamp is made of silicone, so it's squishy and it's kind of slow rising. It's very satisfying to play with. After unboxing and playing around with the new lamp, I decided that I wanted to journal. And I usually keep my notebooks and journals in this cabinet. I also keep my K-pop merch in this cabinet. For today, I wanted to use my transparent binder. This is in a size A6. It's super cute and small. I think it's practical for journaling on the go, especially in cafes. 
and other places as well. I'm a big fan of transparent binders as you can remove the pages because it's a binder and it's nice to decorate the cover. Like when you put stickers on a transparent cover, I think it adds a very adorable effect to it. However, I didn't decorate this binder of mine but I did for my other one. So here I'm using some grid paper and I'm also preparing some of my memo pads, sticky notes, and stickers for journaling. For today's theme, I actually wanted to make it peachy, but instead I actually just used random stickers and memo pads, but I also still used peach elements. Here I'm pasting this sticky note and this memo pad, and this will act as a base or a background for my journal spread. After I was finished pasting, I added this peach-shaped sticky note, and it looks super adorable. I also added this Pantone peach sticky note. I really like the color palette of this sticky note set. Afterwards, I opened my sticker book. This sticker book is super practical for me because it contains a lot of pictures that are super cute and very suitable for my journals. There are a lot of color themes to choose from, so if you're feeling that you want to journal in a blue color theme, they have a lot of blue pictures in it. But I think the only downside of this sticker book is that you have to cut the pictures out, so there is no kiss cut in this sticker book which I think it's quite hard to store the stickers if you cut it out and you decided to not use it. Like yeah, you can just slip it back in the book when you cut it out, but I think that it's quite messy and it's unappealing to look at sometimes. Especially if you see like those uneven cutout pages. After I added these stickers from the sticker book to my journal spread, I also added other smaller stickers. Here I'm using a tweezer to take out the stickers and paste it on the page. At first, I wasn't using a tweezer but it felt quite off because I'm quite used to using tweezers nowadays. I don't know, it feels weird now when I don't use tweezers to paste my stickers. Like I feel it's more accurate if I use a tweezer instead of my hands because tweezers are quite small on the edge so it's quite precise. After all that, I used a pencil Fude Touch brush pen to write feeling peachy on the big sticker and I also drew a peach. So here are the final results of my journal spread for today. What do you guys think? After I was finished journaling, I put it back inside the transparent binder. And here's a close-up of the journal spread. I ended up not doing a lot of things after journaling. So here I'm skipping to dinner and my mom bought some meatball soup. After I ate my dinner, I wanted to drink some milk, so here I poured some chocolate milk into a glass so I can bring it upstairs. And I played some Cookie Run Kingdom. I actually spent so long on this level, and as of today, I still can't do it. I still haven't passed through this level. I don't know why it's really hard. However, I feel like my cookies are well built, so I'm really confused. If any of you play Cookie Run, maybe you have some tips and tricks for me. I really like this game, it's very fun. After doing the story mode, I couldn't complete it, so I ended up doing the Kingdom Arena one. And here I'm just battling someone's cookie team. After I finished playing, I took a shower and changed my clothes. And after my shower, I did my night study session. I'm having my exam next week, so I decided to cram some stuff before. 
So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I already put the product links in the description box. Have a nice day, everybody, and see you next time. Bye!